Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I hope you are doing fine on frog's hair. And I thought I'd do a little whip and chat while I worked on this really fun diamond painting. I'm loving this. This is from Dreamer Designs and it's called Spread Your Wings. And what I'm loving is all the cool special drills in this. Look at it. It's got lots of rhinestones, and you also have regular drills. I love it. I am down to just the background now. All of the flowers makes like a wreath. Isn't it pretty? And look at the beautiful hummingbirds. This has been so much fun. Um, it's a 40 by 50 and it's legally licensed from Jane Mayday or my day. I don't know how you pronounce that for sure, but they have some more that have these special drills and I think I'm going to need another one. I've really enjoyed working on it. Like I said, it's from Dreamer Designs. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link to this kit in case you're interested. I don't, I don't get anything from that. I just like to show you things that I really enjoy. This has been fun to work on. So, I thought, well, I'm going to come on and do a little whip and chat with you guys and just kind of talk a little bit. And then I got some more crazy laws to tell you because. Who doesn't like to hear about the craziness in our uh, system from over the years? Just kind of crazy. Oh, look how pretty these rhinestones are. They're so shiny. So pretty. Um, anyway, I have been working on this, as you can see. I've been doing crochet. Just a little bit of this and that. And... Um, I'm kind of getting my allergy medications kind of in control and um, doing, feeling, been feeling better. Knock on wood. I hope you are feeling great. Um, the pollen is kind of crazy right now here, here in Texas and wherever you're at. I, you'll have to let me know how things are going there. It's just been a little... Um, a little bit too much pollen. Been a lot of grass and ragweed lately. Ugh. So, just having to take a little extra <laughs> certain allergy meds to be able to breathe, <laughs> you know. And then the drainage, that's so much fun. Sometimes you're wondering, do I need to see a doctor or do I call a plumber? <laughs> I might need to get this drain it drain unclogged. <laughs> Maybe a plumber can do that. I don't know. Anyway, I have always enjoyed doing my uh, crazy laws, and you guys seem to enjoy that. And I found some that have that deal with hunting and fishing that I haven't talked about before. So I thought, well, you know what? Um, there are people out there that. Probably hadn't heard of some of these laws because I, I know I hadn't. Just like, oh, okay, uh, really? <laughs> Is that the truth? So if you live in any of these states or countries I mentioned, you'll have to let me know. Have you ever heard of that law? Or maybe you're in a different state and maybe that law is true in your area. <laughs> you just never know. <clears throat> so... We're going to start out with Kansas. Did you know that in Kansas it is illegal to catch fish with your bare hands? Let me tell you something. If you can catch a fish with your bare hands, I don't think that should be illegal. I think you should win some kind of a prize. Wow. I mean, if you're truly doing it and not cheating, you know, don't uh, knock the fish out first or whatever. But yeah, but anyway, it's illegal to go out there with your bare hands. Now, this is another law in Kansas. So, if you're from Kansas or know someone in Kansas, listen up. 
Okay, let's say you're ready to go duck hunting. The thing that you need to remember is it is illegal to hunt ducks while riding a mule. Just don't do it. You cannot use mules while you go duck hunting for any purpose, you know, whether to retrieve them, <laughs> to retrieve your ducks or maybe ride out there on them or use them as a decoy, but it is illegal for the use of mules when you go duck hunting in Kansas. Um, now the next one is coming to us from the state of Tennessee. Now, this one you need to really pay close attention to because it may affect a lot of different people. But, um, it's illegal to shoot any game other than whales. Yes, whales, and we're talking about Tennessee, but it is illegal to shoot any game except for whales from a moving vehicle. So, you can't shoot any, any kind of animal from a moving vehicle, which, yeah, that, you know, shouldn't be. But if you see a whale... I'm talking about a W-H-A-L-E whale that swims in the ocean. You may not shoot, um, you can shoot it from a moving vehicle. It's okay. So, honey, if you can find you a whale uh, in Tennessee, I'd like to hear about that. <laughs> Send me a picture. So, where in the world did that come from? Yeah, most places it is illegal to be shooting from a moving vehicle anyway. that That's dangerous. Very dangerous. But uh, to say that you can shoot whales, how rude. And now, those of you who live in Chicago, Illinois, it is illegal for you to go fishing in your pajamas. Put some freaking clothes on, okay? If you got to get up and go early fishing, you get the clothes on, you know? Don't... I mean, if it's too hard for you to change, go ahead and sleep in your clothes the night before. Just don't go out there in your pajamas. Hmm. What if you can go in your nightgown? <laughs> oh, goodness. Hmm. Maybe they have found quite a few people in some really funky pajamas out there in Chicago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strange, strange. Okay. Now this next one, this could hit a few of my viewers. Now this is in New Jersey. Now if you live in New Jersey, it's against the law for a man to knit, you know, knitting with two, two needles and yarn. It's illegal for you to be knitting during fishing season. No knitting, men. Uh, hey, if you're a woman and you fish, you go at it. You knit whatever you want to. It just says men. Now, that's a weird one because I do know uh, several men who knit. <laughs> it's like, that's not fair. So, yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's be fair in all of this. But really? I mean, are they talking about it at your house or when you're sitting out there fishing? Because, you know, sometimes it gets a little boring when you're sitting there fishing. Yeah, I've been with my husband just a very few times. And sometimes it's, it's beyond boring <laughs> for me. Usually I'm a... He, he fishes with open face rods and I get the line all balled up <laughs> sitting there. Uh, I'll try to untangle it for maybe a minute or two and I'm like, here, you take this. You wanted me to come out here. Fix it. I can't do it. It's just getting worse. Oh, Lord of mercy. So it would have been better off. I don't knit, but I crochet. So it would have been better off if I was out there crocheting or doing anything else. Okay. Now, this is for the state of Idaho. If you live in Idaho, and I, I have a friend who, whose mom has a, a place in Idaho. This is for you, too. If you want to go fishing, just make sure, because this is against the law, for you to fish while sitting on a camel. Don't forget it. No more of this fishing while sitting on a camel. 
Where in the world did they come up with this? Okay, you, you people from Idaho or know somebody from Idaho, uh, is camel riding a problem there or just sitting on a camel? <laughs> and what difference does it make? But I guess you can go ahead and sit on a, you know, a llama or a giraffe or an elephant, maybe. Just no camels. So, keep that in mind the next time you want to fish. Now, this one takes place in Oregon. Okay, if you live in Oregon, you may not use canned corn while fishing. Now, it doesn't say what you might be using the canned corn for. Uh, are you throwing it out, you know, for the fish and getting them to come up and knocking them over the head? Are you using, knocking them over the head with a can? Or does it mean you can't eat canned corn while you're out there fishing? It doesn't go into specifics, but if I were you, I would not have canned corn anywhere with me while I was out there. I don't know. I do not know. I know there has to be some reason that they've come up with some of these laws, but, I mean, really? Okay, we're back to Tennessee. <clears throat> now, remember, you, you, you can shoot whales in Tennessee from a moving vehicle, but you cannot, this is absolutely against the law, to use a lasso to catch fish. To catch fish, I can't even speak. Do not go out there. Woohoo! I lassoed me a fish. Uh, but again, I'm telling you, if you can do that, if you can catch them with a lasso, again, I think you deserve a, a prize. That was, That's pretty incredible. I'd like to see it being done. Why? Why? Why can't you use a lasso? Well, maybe someone found a way to cheat using a lasso. I don't know. Just don't do it. Because it is against the law. Now, in West Virginia, this is against the law for a person to persuade another person to kill a frog for them okay so let's say you're thinking oh I want me some frog legs but I just can't kill the frog I just can't do it I can't do that frog gigging so you go to your bestie and you say hon bestie will you go out and kill a frog for me you know get give me a whole passel full because I, I want me some frog legs well that's against the law if you want them you go get it yourself so there that's a little strange. Uh, that's something I couldn't do. No, um, I'm not going frog gigging. And, uh, um, no, that's that would. I couldn't. I couldn't kill an animal. I'm sorry. I just just can't do it. I just. Mm -mm. So, many many years ago, my husband would go with friends and they'd do some frog gigging. He never brought frogs home. They just went out there looking for frogs but now he's a vegetarian now so he doesn't even eat animals he's completely changed <laughs> okay those of you everyone out there in ohio this is for you it is illegal to fish for whales on sunday so any other day of the week you can fish for whales never on sunday don't forget that now that's for ohio no whale fishing on Sunday. Okay, the next law is for you fine folks who are living in California. Did you know that it is unlawful for you to set a mouse trap unless you have a hunting license? Whoa! Okay. That, that one really... Uh, Gave me pause to wonder, okay. Um, so, how many of you have a hunting license to set mouse traps? I have never heard uh, of anything quite like that before. 
maybe I don't know I I, mm, I just don't know that's a uh, that's weird surely that's uh, how they gonna know you're setting my setting mouse traps unless the mice go tell them anyway now this is in Los Angeles California here's another weirdo law <laughs> So those of you in L.A., it is forbidden to hunt for moths under the street light. Okay. So don't be going hunting for, for moths. Mm, I don't know why anyone would unless they just, you know, like moths and want to put them in their collection. But that is kind of cruel. But anyway, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay, if you're in Los Angeles or you go visit Los Angeles, I'm gonna go up under them street lights hunting for moths. Cause that's that's just wrong. Okay, now we're back to Idaho again. They have a thing about fishing and animals in Idaho that I don't understand. Maybe one of you guys could explain it to me. But anyway. Uh, in the state of Idaho, residents, okay, it says residents, so I guess if you know you're a visitor, maybe they'll exclude you from this, but you may not fish from a giraffe's back. <laughs> so I was wrong when I said you could get on a giraffe's back, because you can't. No camels, no giraffes. Do not fish from their backs. That is just wrong. So... Are there, is there an overabundance of giraffes over there in uh, Idaho? Somebody, somebody let me know. <laughs> Whoa, okay. This next one is for the state of Washington. Now, this is another one that if you can do this, uh, I think you deserve some kind of a prize for it. <laughs> it says, it's illegal to catch fish. By throwing rocks at it. Okay. Uh, I don't know about you, but whenever I've gone, you know, fishing, for one thing, I can't see the fish in the water unless I'm right at the edge, and then those are usually smaller fish. But I know there is no way that I could hit one with a rock. I couldn't lasso one, and I certainly couldn't catch one with my hands. So, um, yeah, I I don't know. Maybe they just, maybe these laws are made so you don't make yourself look like an idiot. Hmm, what do you think about that? Could be. I don't know. I, I guess I just hadn't put that much thought into it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, now, this, here's, I got a couple that I wanted to talk about with hygiene I think I've done uh, a couple of these before but these are just just extra special um, this is in McCullough Kansas McCullough not sure how because it's an O-U-G-H and I usually don't pronounce that G-H McCullough McCullough I don't know however you say that but this is important it's a city in Kansas, and it's illegal, and I'm glad this is illegal. It's illegal for you to, to wash your false teeth at a public water fountain. A drinking fountain, rather. Well, when I think of water fountain, I wasn't thinking about the other part. Well, you know what? Those real beautiful fountains, maybe you could take your teeth out and clean them out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But anyway, no cleaning your false teeth at the public water water fountain drinking fountain excuse me I gotta make sure I do that you know correctly now um, there are you know there are certain places to do certain things and I guess you know when you're not public you gotta watch out what you're doing um, let's see I don't, oh, I've got to tell you about, um, 
something that I found out about. I was thinking I'd start doing a little bit of some trivia. I found some books that had different trivia. And while I was reading it, I found one that I found quite interesting. And um, maybe you'll find it interesting too. But, you know when those nasty mosquitoes land on you and those suckers stick their little stinger or biter or whatever it is that they do to you and start sucking your blood. Not only do they suck your blood, but before they leave that spot, they pee on you. Okay, so not only are they sucking your, your blood, those suckers are taking a piss on you. Now, how do you like that? Yeah, so it's like, are they, you know, making a little porta potty in there so they can just let it flow into that hole they just made? All I could think of was, no wonder some of my mosquito bites get these huge whelps. I mean, I'm allergic to them things. Now I understand. That's just nasty. Just nasty. I... <laughs> some of the things I have been reading uh, have just been mind-blowing. I'm like, you got to be kidding. But when I read that about the mosquitoes, it just made them... It just made me not like them even more. Not only did you just suck my blood, but you peed on me too. Ooh, nasty, nasty. So, just think about the next time you see a mosquito. And what makes me happy is when I'm able to slap one, and I got it. Doesn't happen that often, but, you know, usually you'll see blood, you know, which is your blood that they've just sucked out. I wonder when you, if you do that, if not only you're, you know, smashing some pee-pee, but some poo-poo, poo-poo, onto yourself also. Well, I don't care. I go wash it off anyway, but just a nasty, nasty. No wonder they carry all kinds of diseases like malaria. What a nasty insect. Mm, mm, mm. So, I know that you probably are so glad to know that. Because, you know, how, how could we have gone along this, uh, this far? Jeez. Okay. Um, these are a few, just a few little laws about real estate uh, in Wyoming. Any person who fails to close their fence is subject to a $750 fine. Now, I could see that, you know, if you had a fence and you had maybe dogs in the yard or it's cattle or something getting out, that maybe you would have a fine. But if it's just because you left your fence open and there's nothing there, hmm, I don't know. If you're in Wyoming, let me know. Now, those of you who have cats, this is for you. This is in Shakopee, Minnesota. And this is how this little law goes. It is illegal to bulldoze your house. If five or more cats are using the ventilation system as their home. So if you've got cats that are living in your ventilation system, which I guess would be your air conditioning or any other, I don't know, ventilation you have. If you've got five or more cats, you may not bulldoze your home down because those cats are being protected. So, you might want to find them a new home if you plan on bulldozing your home. You are going to have to find them a place to stay. Where would they go after their home was? How would you feel like it if your home was torn down around your ears? That'd be awful. Now this in Clinton, Oklahoma. Any person who leans against who leans, okay, we're talking about leaning against a public a public. <laughs> let me get my <laughs> let me get my tongue moving correctly. Anyone who leans against a public building will be subject 
to fines. So there's no more of this leaning going on. You stand up straight unless you'd like to be fined. Don't lean on the public buildings. Okay. Oh. And as I say that just because you didn't know it was a law, they say that ignorance does not excuse you from the law. Well, that's pretty sad when it's in some kind of case like this. I think I'd have to fight that. Uh, well, you know what, officer, I, I was just leaning against this building because, you know, my shoe was coming off and I just needed to lean on something. Sorry, ma'am. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Get on over here. Pay your fine. Okay. Okay. Now, this is an interesting law. If you're ever thinking about burning your house down and you live... In Jackson, Mississippi, you have to take the roof off of the house before you may burn it down. Wow. <laughs> hey, could you come uh, remove the roof off of my home? Because I'm getting ready to burn it down. I want to collect on the insurance. There, There's proof right there that you're planning on it. Alrighty then. Mm -hmm. Really strange. I... I you know, you hear about people doing these kinds of things for to get insurance money. I just couldn't do it. I don't know about you. I just couldn't do it. For one thing, I'd be caught. <laughs> I, I I couldn't. Um, I could not do that. And when I think, I mean, it just sends terror to think of my house burning down. When I think of, you know, you have mementos like pictures and things. You know, because at one time we didn't have the cloud and we didn't have cell phones to take the pictures. So we have hard copies of pictures from a long time ago or even just from like, you know, the 80s and 90s. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that just kind of, it just sends shivers. I do not. That, mm, that would be awful. And I have known... Some people who've gone through house fires and it was devastating to them so i cannot even imagine how horrible that would be um now in canada all exterior painting jobs require a permit permit for the color you choose so before you paint your house that pepto-bismol pink you need to get a permit if you are in Canada. Because not everybody, I guess, is going to want to see that. I have seen some houses with some very interesting colors. You know, when you go different places. You know, that's probably their favorite color. And that's okay. I know if you live in a subdivision, everything... Because I don't. Um, but... My sister, I mean, pretty much everyone else in my family does. They have to follow HOA and do exactly what they say. Boy, I could just see, I could just see my husband, Jerry, living in a subdivision and them telling him to take his birdhouses down because they were too tall. Whoa. Yeah. It's best for him not to be in a subdivision of any sort. <laughs> he wants he wants to do his own thing. Um, <clears throat> it is against the law for Arkansas River to rise higher than the Main Street Bridge in Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, I don't know who they're going to talk to on that. Um, of course, if there is a lake that it flows into and they're saying that they have to you know close the dam off so it doesn't uh, flood but uh, I don't know that they you know gonna have control over the Arkansas River flooding uh, yeah uh, who are they going to um, what are they gonna do you know it's against the law well, it may be against the law but I don't, don't know what you're gonna do about it yeah, it's a sad thing because, yeah, we have flooding um, in southern 
parts of Texas, you know, southeast Texas and southern Texas. Yeah, we uh, have a lot of low fl uh, flood areas. But uh, I can guarantee you that they're going to say, no hurricane may come through here and flood such and such place. <laughs> Against the law. Well, you talk to the hurricane about that, because... And that is, <laughs> nothing's going to come of that. So, I think that is enough laws for today. Um, next time you're bit by a mosquito, just remember, they're leaving you a little gift. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. That just, uh, yeah, I'll be thinking about that too. I, I don't like mosquitoes anyway. But... Tell me what you think about this painting. I am loving doing it. Love, love, love it. Uh, I can't use a multi-placer on this. As you can see, the um, dots are further apart because it is a special painting with a special... Ooh, 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 isn't it pretty? So pretty. The leaves are regular drills and then all this other... Ooh, I just love it, love it, love it. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go, guys. I will be talking to you again soon. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. Be good. I love you guys. God bless. Bye.